Uh, Here we go. Good evening, everybody, and welcome <laughs> to my first ever hangout. <laughs> um, and hopefully we're live. We seem to be having a few technical problems, but I think that's the way that all of these hangouts actually start. Um, just to introduce everybody, uh, you probably know I'm Cam Biker. Um, you're on my channel if you're watching, so that's good. Uh, we've also got with us Kev, the infamous biker, who is the uh, co-conspirator in uh, starting off this ride out that we're starting to organise. And we've got uh, two good friends of ours, uh, Jim Payne, the old fart on a motorbike. Say hello, Jim. Hello there. Hello, everybody. Uh, we've got Keith, wife and biker. Hello. Um, uh, these two guys are, are helping us out with the local meets on the way to the main meetup and then on to Squires. You nearly know, said Seaways then, but that would be wrong. Squires. Uh, so tonight we just want to go through a few of the details. We haven't got all of the details ironed out yet, but we've worked out where the ride is going to be from and to, what the route is more than likely going to be, although uh, myself and Kev are going to go and, and ride the ride just to make sure and so we don't get lost. Um, then we'll have a quick chat about what's going to go on beforehand, although the details of that will be worked out next week. Uh, and then there's a couple of other bits, and we'll open up for questions. So, Kev, yep. would you like to tell us about the ride? While you're doing that, I shall try and find a map of the route. Yeah, so, like uh, Car Bike said, or Rich said, um, there's going to be a local meetup, but we'll, we'll come to that in a minute. What I want to talk about basically is, is, is the actual main ride. So what we're planning to do is we're gonna we originally said we were thinking about starting from Squires Cafe, but um we thought better of it with it being a Saturday, it's gonna be busy there, um and with a load of us there as well, it can confuse things. So we thought it best to start somewhere else and then we're gonna have a little ride round and end at Squires. So we're gonna meet at around about 11.45, as we said, on the 28th of June, um, at Sainsbury's in Wakefield. And we'll put all the details and stuff in the description for the videos, but it's going to be Sainsbury's Wakefield, WF1, 1QQ. Um, and as you can see on the map there, that's the starting point. And then P is Squires Cafe. So what, what it'll be is it'll be about a 20-minute ride. It'll be... It won't be, it's not going to be a crazy ride, we're not going to be doing hundreds of miles an hour. Because like we say, it's going to be guys on 125s and our plates, they're also welcome. So, about a 20 minute ride, then we'll get to Squires Cafe for around about 1 o'clock. So, meet at Sainsbury's quarter to 12, fill up with fuel, say hello to everyone, we'll leave about quarter past 12. Get to Squires for around about 1 o'clock-ish, and then we can all just chill out, play around with each other's bikes. Um, and then, you know, if people want to go on little rides themselves, they can by all means. And then we'll just bomb burst as and when we want to, really, after that. So that's the main ride. That's what we'll be doing um, for the main part. There's not going to be, like I say, it's only going to be about 20 minutes, actually, the ride from point A to point B. But it's going to be a social event anyway, so you're not going to really want to be on your own in your helmet for most of the afternoon. You know, we're there to all meet each other and all chat anyway. So it seems to be pointless going for a three, four hour ride because we can't really talk to each other. So that's the main ride anyway. Um, so I'll hand back to Richard and if you just want to give a few details about the um, beforehand drive, mate, what we're planning to do there. Sure thing. Um, I mean, we, we haven't got the details of this absolutely ironed out yet and uh, the reason for that will become clear. Essentially, we're looking at doing uh, three or four local meetups. So there'll be one somewhere near me, over in the northeast-ish East Yorkshire. Um, there'll be one over um, in Kev's neck of the woods. So he's over in the Wirral, but it might be Liverpool. It might be uh, you know somewhere nearby. And then there'll be one that uh, Wyvern and Jim uh, are going to organise between them. Um, talk of that potentially being Ashby at the minute. But the, the main part is that we want people to get in contact with one of the four people who are on this hangout and let let them know if you're planning on going. You don't have to. Uh, you know, you can just turn up on the day. That's not a problem. But if you let us know you're going, then you can influence where the meetup will be. 
So for me, I can only talk about my side of the country. I don't know the other, the other guys' uh, areas. But for me, all likelihood is that there'll be a meet-up in Beverly or Hull. If everybody that contacts me says, we're from Barton upon Humber, just on the other side of the river, then we'll meet there. So it's really getting everybody to feedback and we'll, we'll pick the best place. And hopefully we'll get half a dozen or more riders from each of the three or four meetups. Uh, in addition to that, if you're not from one of those three areas uh, and you are willing to volunteer to help us out in organising another routine, so if you're you know, there's somebody, some people want to come from North Yorkshire, then uh, please get in touch with one of us and we, we'll get you on as one of the people organising it as well. We just swap phone numbers so that the people in this little group can uh, keep in touch and make sure we're not right. uh, you know, going to get lost or if we're running 10 minutes late that everybody's not going to go without us. But we'll get to the fine detail of where we're meeting up next week once we've had everybody's feedback uh, about who's coming, who's a maybe uh, and where you're coming from. Um, in addition to that, anybody who wants to organise their own little meetups and come in, you know, in threes and fours to any of the local meets or to the uh, initial meet uh, at Wakefield Sainsbury's, then by all means do. Uh, the only difference there is that, that if you're not part of one of the kind of main meets, officially is not the right word, but if you're not part of one of the main meets, then we won't have your phone numbers, so obviously we can't keep in touch if, if you end up running behind. Um, but yeah, check, uh, kind of tune in next week. There'll be another hangout. It's either going to be on my channel or on Kev's, I'm not sure which yet. But there'll be another hangout at the same time next week just to finalise those details. Uh, Kev? Yeah, the, um, the only other thing we wanted to mention before we uh, before we move on is if, you're, if you are planning to come, obviously, no matter where you're coming from, we're all looking at doing around about 100 miles each way. So it's going to be a long old day with a lot of miles, especially for the 125s, because once you're getting up to 60 miles an hour, you're kind of going to be pushing your engines a little bit. So just make sure that you prep your bikes a little bit, you know, make sure the chain's okay, the chain tension, your tyres, you've got a full tank of fuel, all your fluids and your brakes and all that kind of stuff. Um, just give just give your bike a good one. I mean, I'm sure most bikers do anyway. Most of us do, don't we? But just make sure that your bike's in tip-top condition before we go because, you know, it's going to be a long old day. It's not like you commute to work. You're going to be doing about a good 250 miles during the day. So just keep your eye on it. We're going to plan in um, petrol stops anyway. You know, um, we'll probably fill up, make sure you fill up at Sainsbury's and then I'm sure there'll be somewhere nearby Squires as well that we can fill up before we all disappear. So... Uh, so yeah, just keep on top of your bike, make sure they're all okay. We don't want anyone's wheels falling off any off the ride or anything like that. Um, and obviously, if you are on L plates and stuff like that, make sure you've got your L plates front and back, because the last thing we want is getting pulled over and having the group split up and all that kind of stuff, because it's just a nightmare for everyone. Then. Um, so yeah, just make sure of that. Um, is there anything else to discuss? I think the only thing I would add would just for those guys that are coming on one two fives, we'll certainly try and keep those guys in the in the sort of the middle of the pack if you like. So, you know, we've got some folk in front and some behind, so there's there's no way anyone's potentially gonna get any lost. Yeah. So we can try and keep everyone together. Um like Richard said, you know, if you are coming from the sort of the Midlands area, if you let us know, either myself or Jim, where you live, that will influence where we eventually end up saying we are going to meet, because we don't want to. Have, I mean, we initially said Ashby, but it might not be Ashby if, if more people are in a in another part of uh, of the Midlands, then it may be a, another area. But yeah, tell us where you where you are. That that will influence where where the meeting point for the Midlands will be. Yeah, that's 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 very much the same for me as well. But like we said, I live on the Wirral. But it could be Widnes, Scammersdale, McGall. It could be anywhere around that kind of area. Mm. It all depends on who's confirmed as going um, as to what the best route is. Um, but there's plenty. Of, there's plenty of time left yet. We'll post our routes up, so you can always yeah. on the route as and when. So yeah. Um, I think what we also need to do is get a little bit of protocol organised of how we're actually going to ride. Uh, there's plenty of YouTube channels out there that uh, show the best way 
of riding, whether to stagger or behind one another or whatever. Uh, when you're coming up to junctions, obviously, because there's going to be cars coming along and you're going to split up uh, somewhat. So we need some sort of protocol organising. Uh, maybe we ought to be looking at that as a, a bit of a topic next week. Yeah, yeah. I, I've got an idea. I've got a, a, there's, there's a system that I've used, I don't know if any of you have used for one ride with Bruce. Called um, Ten Home Charlie. I don't know if you've ever used that system before, but basically, yeah. Yeah. the lead rider at the front is the navigator, and then the second rider would be the kind of like marker. So if there's a left hand turn or a right hand turn, the second person would stop there until tail end Charlie comes through. The tail end Charlie is always the last person, and that remains the same person throughout the whole ride. So the second person marks the junction, and then when they see the last person coming through, they'll rejoin the group and head back up to the front again. Yeah. That's the way I've ridden in groups before. It seems to work well for the groups I've ridden in. It might be, just, might be worth considering. Yeah. Certainly, um, we should have a chat about that offline and, and work out what we're going to do and talk about that either in the next Hangout or potentially there'll be a third one. Yeah. Um, just to, before we carry on, just a quick thing. We've got 15 viewers. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, click the thing in the bottom left-hand corner, get yourself over to Google Plus to watch, and then you can ask questions because we're drawing to the end of uh, the, the things we're planning to talk about. Uh, we want to open up the floor to any questions that you want to ask us about the ride, um, and we'll start answering them. And I'm going to try and stay on top of them. Yep. which might be fun. One other thing we didn't mention, by the way, was uh, was uh, what you said about L plates. Obviously, we are planning this on the, the basis that there are going to be one two fives with us. There are going to be people in L plates, so we won't be using any motorways. Um, we'll be sticking to the back roads, and motorways are boring anyway. Certainly are. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, the route we've planned, um, as Kevin would say, it's about twenty miles. It's a little bit around town, so you can, we can stop at a red light, no doubt, and um, get the red bombs out of the system. Um, there's a bit of skating around towns. There's a lot of uh, country roads. There's a bit of dual carriageway, a bit of single lane, few hills, few bends. So nothing horrendously challenging, um, but enough to have fun. Yeah. And there's, 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 I believe I've never been to Squires myself, really. I think all of you guys have, haven't you? You've all been to Squires before. I haven't, no. Uh, I know Keith and Rich, you definitely have, haven't you? Yeah. Um, there's going to be loads of other bikers there as well, I imagine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. It's not just like it's going to be a handful of you know, like no. bikers from our group. There's going to be a big a big gaggle of us. So. Yeah. It's, all, it's always busy. Um, there's plenty of, thing, there's plenty of um, things to eat there. They've got a shop which has got bike bits and pieces as well. So if you fancy some look what's in the shop, that's, that's at the back of the complex. So you know there's always something going on there. There may well be an event going on when we turn up. So, um, but there's plenty of bikes to, to stop and have a look at. So uh, yeah, it's, it's it's always a busy place. Yeah, there's usually um, you know up to a couple of hundred bikes there. Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to find you a picture. I'll just share a, a picture to give people an idea. Uh, it's got a really big car park that's usually room for plenty of bikes. Right? Not a huge, yeah. hugely brilliant picture there, but you can get the idea. Yeah. Anybody who wants to have a look, go to squires-cafe.co.uk, I think. Or it might be .com. Not .co.uk. And you'll uh, see they've got some pictures up there and what have you. And they've got an overflow car park, so there's plenty of places to park up your bike. And then... Um, it's, uh, there's a, it's, there's a, a pub that I don't advise anybody gets too drunk, although Jim says he's taking his homebrew. Um, <laughs> there's, uh, you can get coffees and teas and cappuccinos and all that kind of stuff. There's food, sandwiches, cooked food. Um, there's also a bike accessory shop there, so if you want to go and get some clothes or a new helmet or uh, some shiny bits to stick on your bike, all that kind of stuff. Is, is all available there too, so it's it's good, it's a good place to go, even if you're not going on a ride out with us all, but you should be. <laughs> I've um I've just had a look at the events page of the Flyers Cafe website that actually isn't an event on that day. That that might be a good thing. You could argue it either way. There's a there's a Harley Davidson day the week before, but 
and there's something the day after, but there's nothing on the Saturday. So, well, I think I might um, drop them an email anyway and just say, look, we're planning on coming up there. Really, we need people's feedback, get an idea of numbers. Yeah. Um, obviously, if we turn up with 20 bikes, that's probably not a problem. But if we get an unexpectedly high number of bikes, then it'd probably be nice to let them know beforehand. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, common case, I suppose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually be taking something to eat. I think. I'm gonna eat a packed lunch, a luncheon. Uh, if anybody wants. Uh, uh, try a sample of beer. I'll bring one up, but I wouldn't recommend that you drink it whilst you're there. Number one, uh, you'll know to blame if it's crap. And number two, it's not a very wise thing to do on a motorbike. But uh, if you PM me, I'll, I'll bring you a sample. I I I am a I I I love my uh, real ales, Jim. So I I definitely like a sample, please, mate. Right. Okay then. So uh, as long as for me, please. <laughs> I don't want to be coming on a bloody trailer, you know. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so that should be. It, should, it sounds like a fun day, actually. I'm I'm really looking forward, particularly meeting everybody. I think that's the 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 buzz I'm going to have by actually meeting everybody face face to face, which will be great. Yeah, yeah. Me, me too. I I, I, did, I could like you, Jim. I could make a Lincoln ride. Um, the, the only person I've met is Mr. B. I've not met anyone else. Yeah, I've met Mr. B. Yeah, and uh, Mrs. B. and the and the children. They were lovely. I had a lovely day out. But yeah, I th I'm I'm really getting very excited about this. Mr. Mr. I, I bet I'm the only person who's been on the back of Mr. B's bike. Though. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Mr. B. has said that both him and Mrs. B will be coming. So. Oh, Excellent. that'd be nice. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. I might have to bring Mrs. C with me then. I was thinking about bringing my Mrs. with me, but I don't know if she'll want to. Why not, to be honest? She's not really big on bikes. <laughs> I think she kind of agrees to come on the back just to keep me shut. Uh, my, my mouth shut, but I don't think she'll. I'll ask her, though. I'll ask her. I've got, I've got no chance with my wife. She hates motorbikes, so that's. She definitely won't be coming. <laughs> Can you, you get a couple of, um, couple of homebrews into her and change her mind? <laughs> you, never know. you never know. You never know. Yeah, so I'll be bringing uh, quite a few home brews. So uh, I have to get my panniers sort of levelled up, and uh, but like I said, <laughs> have to drink it. Mind yeah. you, it might be a bit sedimenty, might it? I don't know. Ah well. Well, we'll maybe have to leave it to settle again. Yeah, yeah. Right, we've got uh, a question. So anybody who wants to ask a question, now is the time to do so, because we're going to take the questions and then we're going to go off air. So I'll just, uh, I'm going to try and do this properly. So I shall start by selecting this one. Oh, look at that. Uh, Homer UK one, Dave says good evening. Good, good evening, evening, Dave. Good evening. <clears throat> Done. This is, I should point out, I am just reading out the names of the buttons I'm clicking. <coughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> uh, and we've got another one from Dave. Dave says, are you going to ride with intercoms this time? Um, anybody who's got an intercom and can link it up, by all means, please do. Um, I've been trying to get an intercom that fits to my helmet and haven't managed it yet. Uh, Danny G1980 has a spare intercom that we're going to try on my helmet, I believe. Yeah. Um, whether it's for this ride or beforehand or whenever, but uh, if we can get intercoms going, that can only be helpful. Yeah, I shall be bringing mine with me because I'll have my my little person on the back, and she likes to bit of a yap on the way up on a on a ride. So if we can link up with those, then it might help with, uh, with navigation, especially if we're relying on Mr. Carl Biker. <laughs> I'd just like to say at this point. I will. I will give out some route maps. I'll print a few off. Yeah. Um, let's not rely on me for the actual navigation. Uh, I'm, I'm good at route planning. <laughs> yeah. I think if I, I mean, I'll certainly bring a copy of the route, and I think if others bring copies as well, I think that's 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 probably a good idea. And uh, just in case, you never know. We could get split up, and um, it just be a little bit helpful, and and doesn't put the um, the pressure on one person 
having to try and get everyone there, it kind of relieves that bit of pressure. And it gives everyone the responsibility, really, of making sure we get there, get there safely. So, Absolutely. That's, that's all the thing. Yeah. I've got an intercom. Oh, my, uh, it, it was my, now let me get this right, my 40th <laughs> anniversary of my 21st birthday yesterday. And, Does that uh, mean you're 39, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be catching me up soon. <laughs> so uh, my wife has bought me an intercom thingy malarkey uh, from China. <laughs> So, so it's probably using a sat nav to get over here. So hopefully it'll arrive by the time we go on this. Uh, is it is it a one piece one or a two piece one? It's a B a BT one coming from China. I don't get that. Yeah, I've it's got not a BT actually one. BT is it? It's not British yeah. Telecom BT. It's a different no, BT. Different one. Yeah. Beijing something. But it's the one that um, Skeggy Cruiser did a, a, a little review on. So yeah. I'm happy it's going to be all right. Isn't it? Yeah, it's good. I've I got one of those, Jim, and they're excellent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I did buy a twin set of them, but as I say, it wouldn't fit on my helmet. All oh, right. I've got a I've got a scholar either on my helmet. Ooh. 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 It, it, well, <laughs> it won't, it's only it's only designed for ride the pillion. It won't go over any distance. Right. Right. But um, but it has got Bluetooth so I will be linking it to my phone. So mm -hmm. you can always get me on the phone if you need to. I'll have my phone and the helmet. So that's yeah. good. That's good. Excellent. So well, your question, Dave. Yeah. Do we know if Dave, is, is David coming? Do we know? Actually just commented in the Q and A about it. Well I'm just gonna select that question. Well I think it's the right question anyway. So, uh, yeah, there's nothing else from Dave. So this is uh, Dave again. Maybe have the map downloadable so people can print it off themselves. Uh, also, he will be there if you can. Hope you're there, Dave. And we're grateful that Lincoln won. Don't want to miss it, the next one out. Um, yeah, uh, I've created a little document with the main details in the route and some directions that hopefully are easy enough to follow. Um, I will make that downloadable from somewhere I don't know where yet. Uh, I'll put a link to it on the um, YouTube. I did create a link for the map directions on Google, but I know when Jim loaded it and when Keith loaded it, it was showing the M1 in the route, which isn't part of the route. <laughs> so I don't want people to, to get the wrong idea. But I've got a Word document with screenshots in. If I can find somewhere to put it, I will put it somewhere. I, uh, I'd be happy to upload it to NBC for you and give you a URL, you know. <laughs> I do apologise, Kate. I'm doing it again, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, we should say all the details of this ride are going to be on motorbikecommunity.com. If you go to the events page, it'll be on there. Yeah. Uh, we just need to update it all now because you got it all wrong first time, Kev. Yeah, I, I'm useless. Yeah. Kev's starting at Squires and going to Wakefield. We're going to wave to him as we go past. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they going? So, uh, can we put can we put Word document attachments or PDF attachments on Not About Community? I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah. Um, he says, even though he wrote the site, you can't remember. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure you can attach documents and stuff to them. You can well, do a Dropbox one, can't you? Sorry. And Dropbox. Yeah, we'll definitely get something, won't we? Yeah. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get it on there by hook or by crook oh. so that people can get it. Yeah. Bear in mind, it might change because um, Kev and I are going to go out on the 26th, uh, two days before the ride. We're going to ride the route just to make sure we know the way, um, just to pick up if there's you know any roadworks or things that are going to cause us problems. We'll get that beforehand. So the route is pretty much set, but we might adjust it slightly if if there's some kind of obstacle that's going to make it less fun. Yeah. You did get the route from one of these uh, books, though, that do interesting biker routes. So I've been on one or two of those, and they're really good. So hopefully yeah. it'll be as good as. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, it was, it was uh, best biking roads or something. So we, we picked the starting point, and the, the first bit, if the first bit up to a place called Stanley isn't a very good route, you can blame me. And then everything else after that is from bestbikingroads.co.uk <laughs> or something. So that, that bit's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that answers your question, Dave. So we've got quite a few more questions. Let's uh, pick out some easy ones first. 
I now know what Mr. B says when he says that the questions don't appear to be any particular order. So we'll take a nice easy one. Uh, O2 Big Kev says, good morning, chaps. Morning. Good morning, Kev. Morning. Bit like you, no? <laughs> <laughs> good evening, Kev, or uh, as we might say, what is going on, people? <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, I think this one came in next. Uh, this is a question or a comment from Gazatron. Hi, it's Gazatron. Sorry, but I've missed the first 16 minutes. Not from Gazatron. It's going to be up on my channel. It's going to stay there. Um, and also we're going to download it. And the other three guys on the panel are going to take a copy of that and put it on their channels too. So it's going to be yeah. widely available. Yeah. Um, just wanted to let you know that I'm still planning on coming. Excellent. Uh, I'm not not sure which direction you're coming from, Gazatron, but um, talk to one of the four people here. Uh, so there's a, a PM or whatever, and we'll um, we'll sort out a meeting point according to who's coming from where. Well, yeah. I've I've just actually checked Gazatron's account on Motorbike Community on the map. And, uh, <laughs> plug plug. <laughs> he's, in, he's in North Yorkshire. Ah, oh, good. Ah, yes, which is one where we haven't got somebody coming from yet. So, yeah. Gazatron, if you fancy volunteering to sort out a, a local meet, that'd be really useful. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, good. The more people, the merrier. Anybody else want to say anything on that one? No, it would be, be good to have someone from that area of the country just help things out, of course. Oh, sorry, he's from West Yorkshire. <laughs> Turns out this motorbike community site's not as good as you thought. It? <laughs> <laughs> it, says, it says West Yorkshire on the on the motorbike community me. Possibly there'll be some leads. So it's right. pretty much in the area that we're going into, really. He, he might be able to be organising a local meet at um, Wakefield. Yeah. Um, if you're going to organise a local one at Wakefield, don't do it since we've got to ask her. And then you could just ride across, and then at least you've had a bit of a local ride too. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys, I'm trying to get in here. If you if you watch last week's hangout when I was running, you'll see that I'm useless. So it's not it's not that he, he um, it's not that his sight's bad; it's that he can't read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just offended some people. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so let's pick another question. <laughs> Uh, so we've got Bex88, maybe next time for me, no bike just yet. Uh, uh, you've got about three weeks, Bex, two and a half weeks. Yeah. Yeah, sort your finance out, it won't be long. You'll still get your bike by then. Yeah, you can do it, Bex. You can do it! Congratulations to Bex for passing, by the way. Yeah, well, yes, well done, Bex. Um, and for having greater self control than me, because. I passed, and that afternoon went to the bike shop <laughs> and put, put my deposit down. <laughs> I, I bike before I even had my license. Yeah, so did I. To be fair, I did actually go to the bike shop the day before my test, but I, I didn't have the guts to tell them I was actually doing my test, just in case I was tempting fit. <laughs> I, 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 turned, I turned up to the place where I bought a bike shop. Well, I turned up on the morning of my test. And they were just getting ready to go, and he pulled out my bike and started putting the plate on it. And I was saying to him, "Oh, so no pressure then." He was like, "Oh no, but if you don't pass, you know, your bike will be here ready for you. You can't ride it." Yeah. Oh, great, thanks, guys. <laughs> if it takes you six months, it will be have been registered for six yeah. months, unfortunately. I got back from my test and uh, got on the bike I bought about a week previous. So uh, I was really test I was pushing fate that day. I tell you. I couldn't wait to get home. I thought, I'm going to go home and get on that big bike today. So it was There's no better feeling, is there? No, absolutely. Well, I, I drove my car back up there. I didn't have a bike at the time. I didn't have a license. Yeah. Passed me test, took the bike, and I didn't pick up my car for a week and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and it was seized up by the time I got it. Excellent. All right, let's move on to another question. Uh, uh, Gazatron, I uh, best bring that up. I nearly did it wrong then. I'll bring it up first. Uh, Gazatron just says he'll be coming from Lincoln because he's on a course there. Um, I don't know how that works out with uh, Jim and, and Keith. Maybe meet up with them guys on the way. I don't know. Lincoln's a long way from Ashford. Yeah. 
can you do well? They can maybe merge on the way. I don't know. Not sure which way you go from Lincoln to Wakefield, really. It's not quite in the same direction. Yeah, well, we 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 could, depending on the route we go, we could um, we could meet up at, at Tuxford or Retford, which is to the west of Lincoln. So that that's a possibility. But but like we've already mentioned, that Ashby's not a definite yet. It depends where people are coming from. But there's a there's a a potential meet along along the way, but it won't be Lincoln itself because Lincoln's a little bit too far to the east hmm. on the route we're potentially going. But yeah, there's a potential there. I'm sure. Yeah, there's no reason why we can't have uh, points yeah. along our yeah. individual routes where we can. Yeah. I don't. I wouldn't say to stop and wait because we might just end up waiting an extra five minutes at every one of them and yeah. being in a mess. Oh. But but drive past, you know, petrol stations, things like that. Pull yeah. in. Top up the tank and pick people up on the way. Yeah. Well, once we've figured out for definite where we're meeting from in the Midlands, we could kind of roughly work out where we might be uh, close to Lincoln, and, and like you said, you know, we could arrange to meet in a in a sort of petrol station en route, and um, so it is feasible. It's something we could possibly look at. Okay, uh, I'll just bring up one more thing from Gazatron just to finish that one off because he's put another one in there for us. <laughs> Uh, just to complicate things even more, he's based in Dishforth, North Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> so it was right the first time. <laughs> so basically, all three, all three routes will have to go through some point around. We just we'll make all of the the routes there be two hundred miles long, but we'll pick everybody up individually. <laughs> okay, uh, Devon Mellon. Devon Mellon says, can I come? Yes, you can. Yeah. You're more than welcome, mate. Yep. If you want to organise your local meetup, um, that's probably for the best. Yeah. Although I am I'm going to be in Penzance at some point over the next couple of weeks, so, you know, maybe I'll, uh, I'll give you a lift in my car and you can hire a bike. Not sure you're going to get back home again. <laughs> that would be a good ride out from uh, where he is. Yeah. Yeah, doable. Devon, Devon also says, "Why do you never come down south?" Just told you, I am there. Because we're all up north. <laughs> <laughs> well. See, we do go down south. We do migrate <laughs> for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I can't remember. Which one of these ones came in first? So I'll pick the one that's probably easiest to answer, which is G Spot Biker. Rides with a smile on the face. <laughs> um, hi, folks. I would like to join. I will be coming from Leeds, so I might ride out to one of your meetups and trip back with you. Um, yeah. You're most welcome. Yeah. Uh, right. Again, get in contact with the person who, who you want to ride down with. Um, I'm guessing it's not going to be um, Liverpool area. <laughs> He's got his lip out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, get, get in contact with who you want to meet up with and um, we, we'll get it all sorted out for you. Mm -hmm. And as I say, next week we'll know all the details and we'll be back on talking about them. Yeah, yeah just, just to quickly add to that, we haven't actually said, um, we, are, we are hoping to have the local meetup meetups pretty much 100%. <laughs> Firmed up by next week, so if you could come back to us sooner rather than late, and if you do want to come, mm. that'd be great. Definitely. Okay, anybody else want to add anything to that one? No. No. Then we might be on to our last question. Bum, bum, bum. Unless anybody else wants to ask one in the meantime, we have 19 viewers, so please ask away. Um, we will carry on this hangout for another 25 minutes if need be, to answer any questions, or we'll wrap it up uh, when we get to the end of it. So our last question for the minute is from, well, it could be Buns L2000 or Bun ZL2000. Uh, is this weather dependent at all, or are we going ahead whatever? The weather doesn't bother me, but I know for some it does. It's uh, not bothering me. I'm definitely going no matter what. Same here. Unless there's... A hurricane or a yeah, tornado or 
Yeah, unless it's, yeah, unless it's tor unless it's torrential, I won't bother. But if it's a little bit of rain, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, your skin's waterproof. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I've, I've ridden more in rain than I have in the dry. So to be honest, when it gets <laughs> sunny, I get a bit upset. It's a bit <laughs> rain god, aren't you, Rich? So. Yeah. <laughs> it does appear that way at the minute. <laughs> that, that cloud will be above you all day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So for people who, who don't know which meetup to go to, it's probably best not my one. <laughs> probably best coming with uh, Kev, Keith and Jim. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, there's Rich coming now. How do you know him? I bought that dark visor. I've not needed it yet. <laughs> so, yeah, um, what the weather, unless it's like, for me personally, unless it's like dangerous, you know, we, we have some freak weather and it gets like really frosty or something, then yeah. for me it's just a bit of rain or even if it's you know, raining quite heavily I'll still be there, I've got waterproof. So. Yeah, absolutely. So that's the end of our questions. I've got a question. Excellent. Why, why is Keith in a double bed? <laughs> oh yeah, it's my shag pit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we managed to keep uh, the tour uh, for the whole thing. Uh, well, I've got nobody with me, Jim. Do you want to? Oh, <laughs> so close. <laughs> we nearly managed a whole hangout. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll have to edit that bit out, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm going to edit that bit in three or four oh, times. Yeah. <laughs> Every 15 minutes is going to be, this is my shag pit. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then we can shop a picture of Jim's head next to yours, Keith. We'll have to pour it in the town. We're in the town. <laughs> hey, we've got another question, chaps. Let me just select this one. This is from Mr. Mr. Husey. Yes. Uh, where, uh, where did Keith say his meat was at the moment? At the moment, it's possibly going to be at Ashby de la Zouche. There is a McDonald's, which is on the just off the roundabout, which is on the junction of the A42. At the moment, that's that's a, one suggestion. Um, you may have to remind me where you're from. Are you the guy that's coming from Swaddling Coat? I can't quite remember. But at the minute, we're kind of saying it, it might be Ashby at the moment. But it very much depends on where people are coming from. It could change depending on where people are, really. But it was just uh, it was just one suggestion that I made earlier. That it you could don't possibly have to speak be. To McDonald's, do you, Keith? Speak to McDonald's. No, well, you don't have to. Be, you don't have to eat a McDonald's bloody big crack, whatever it is. I don't think so. But there is there is a slip road just just on the way just leading up to McDonald's with no, plenty of parking. Right. So. Thank you, mate. Yeah, so that's, that's the good. worst product placement ever. <laughs> I'll have a I'll be meeting in the drive-through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone else will be having a Big Mac, mate. You can have a um, a vegetable. Smoothie. Uh, but what now? Everyone else can have a Big Mac, and Jim can have a vegetable smoothie. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take a salad. <laughs> right, Mr. Hughes is saying he's coming from Brownhill, so I'll, I'll make a note of that because that might be useful because I've got somebody coming from your area uh, Mr. Hughes so it would be really good if you're not the guy that's already um, offered to sort of pick this other guy up that's coming from um, uh, Bassett's Pole area so um, I'm going to stick that down in my in my notes so I know where you're coming from so that's really useful to know that's good okay we've got another one coming from Glyn Tyndall, which I'm assuming is Ting Biker. Ting Biker. Either that or his stolen Ting Biker sticker as his um, as his icon. Just a point, by the way, uh, I'm assuming we're all bringing stickers with us. And if you're yeah. a vlogger and you come in, bring your stickers along so we can swap. Good idea. Yeah. Um, so, Ting Biker, have a great day. Can't make it. That's a shame. As we'll have just got back after four days off. Look forward to all of it. I'm sure there will be many. Yeah. Yeah, shame you can't make it. Hmm. Got another one? Jeff Dawson. Oh. 
Jeff Dawson says, hoping to make it. Hope you can. I'm coming from Loughborough, so Ashby Meat is good for me. Great. Okay, so I'll make yeah. a note of that. That's not far. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what are you, of... are you making notes, mate? Pardon? How are you making notes? I've just typed them on a on a Word document. The the YouTube oh, name right. and where they where they're coming from. All oh, right. Just so I know for own. You got everything in that bed, haven't you? Really? Yeah. It's not the only thing I've got in that bed, Jim. <laughs> but that's another story. Um. That's why you can only see my head, Jim. I've got nothing on other than um, what you see yeah. above my. Don't yeah. get me going, please. <laughs> The tone's going. It was slipping. <laughs> um, I'm just going to say, probably the best place for us to put all the details, obviously we'll put the main details alongside the YouTube videos, but um, we've got an event set up in Motorbike Community, so we can put something in there. Um, maybe, I don't know, Kev, if you can say whether people can comment on that or whether we should open up a forum for the ride as well. I noticed there is a forum section for ride outs, yeah. but there aren't any in it at the minute, so... I'll let you guide us on that one because it's your site. Well, it, well, it's a community site just because I wrote it. It's not my site, but um, it's I, my site. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, you can you can add comments and stuff to events. So um, there's not forums as such in the event, but uh, there is actually. You can create groups, and a group has a private forum and a private commenting. So it might be worth creating a group off the back of it and having keeping it all separate. And then there's one single question for all the information that I'd want to go through then. So it might be worth doing that. Well, thanks for volunteering. That's great. Yeah, I'll do that. No problem. After all, it's my site. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I mean, on the events, you can also say whether you're going or not, can't you? You can. You can say, yeah. Yeah, there's only a few people that have said... Yes, now it would be good if people could start. Just it, It's only a click the button, click yes if you go, just so we can get an idea of numbers. Yeah. I mean, I think individually we're going to know anyway because we're going to be arranging our own ride outs. But globally, if we know roughly how many to expect, that'd yeah. be good. I mean, I know at the minute um, I've got about half a dozen definites on my side of things and quite a few um, possibles. I yeah. think it's the same for, for you guys as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we're hoping we're going to beat. Um, Lincoln's 12, maybe get 20, maybe get more. Who knows who will turn up? If we get 20, that would be awesome. Okay. Kev, can you put another shilling in the meter, mate? You're going a bit dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bit of my rain god has, has rubbed off and it's just... <laughs> Clouds coming it's over. It is fading away, the lad is. <laughs> That's a fork out two and a half grand for a bloody sofa and I can't afford the electric now. <laughs> Oh, we get some great uh, hangouts, don't we? Now I've got one in the bed, one in in a in a, a dark cave. <laughs> right, we've got we've got another question uh, from Redbeard Rider. Uh, I'm from Holland. As soon as I've swimmed over, could one of you guys tow my 50 cc scoop? 50 cc's are allowed, but you know, if you really want to come, uh, Zebrugger to Hull. On the ferries, and I'll pick you up. Go on the back of that. I could tow the 50cc scoops because you know I've got a trailer that I'm bringing all the own brew in. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's better. Is that better, Jim? Yeah, thanks, Kev. <laughs> what do you mate? Turns out it's a dinner switch. <laughs> So yeah, um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll bring me your electric bill for you, Jim. When I get when we meet. Okay then. Okay, that's fine. We, we just we can just settle it in the home brew if you want. Okay, three pints. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay, uh, we've got one more question. A minute. Uh, from the specky nerd. Are you uh, think... out then, uh, Richard? Of course I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to join at the start. I should be able to come though. Great stuff. Got to see you. That's that little Honda. Me, what do you call it? Innit? Grom. Grom. Honda Grom. Ten. No, not turned out nice again. That's from it. I'm thinking of Wallace and Gromit. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, you have to let me have a go on that. Be awesome. Yeah, and it'll be funny. I mean, it'll be kind of the opposite end to going on the booster from last time. <laughs> so that's the end of the questions. Mm -hmm. um, so unless any other questions come in, I suppose we're at the point of uh, ending the hangout. Unless anybody else wants to say anything. No. Uh, no, I think everything's been said. Um, I'll I'll create that group in um, in um, uh, my, my community, and then we can all just start putting them on there, I suppose. And there's one coherent place then for everything to be planned, I suppose, isn't it? Rather than yeah. people commenting on YouTube or commenting on Google Plus or Facebook or email, and it's just it's just one place then, isn't it? So we can make we can even make uh, this might be one for a while. We're off the hangout, but we can make. Topics within the private forum, you know, Keith and Jim's might ride out, Richard's ride out, and Kev's ride out. Yeah. I suppose, I mean, I, we should, probably shouldn't make it too private because people who, um, who, who don't private. necessarily want to sign up. Sorry, private, private's not the right word. Separate would be a better word. It's, right. Anyone could view it, but it's separate from the main forums. Cool. It won't get lost in all the other forums, it'll just be the group. And it's there in the group. Right, great stuff. And we can presumably link to it from the event and what have you. Yes. Excellent. Uh, we've got two more questions that have just come in. Uh, Bunzel2000. I don't know what that means. No, I don't. M MSX. MSX. Hope it's not too rude. Must <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thanks for your question. Um, <laughs> can you... Can you explain it to us, please? <laughs> uh, and we've got a question from Mr. Mr. Husey. Uh, have any times been sorted out yet, or has that been sorted out later? Um, we know we're going to be meeting up in Wakefield about 11.30, 11.45. Um, the other meets will all depend on who's coming. So again, um, people who feed back will determine where the meet is exactly. And depending on what, what bikes are involved, we'll know how fast we can go so we can work out where we'll be setting off from different places. It's going to be fairly early, I would think, Jim, would you? Yeah. Be, uh, we need to be heading off, I would think, at the latest, probably 9 o'clock, would you say that was? Yeah. Fair to say? Yeah. yeah. So I think, in the Midlands point of view, we'll probably be looking to meet about 8.30, 8.45, with a view to setting, up, uh, setting off at 9 o'clock. Otherwise, we're going to be pushing it, really. Yeah. I think the... Uh, the northwest one might even be earlier than that. There's yeah. About, it's about two and a half hours off the motorway. Yeah, so yeah. It so it's, it's going to be a long day, folks. So, uh, but long enjoyable. Day. Enjoyable. Long but fun. Yeah. Okay, so we've got lots of things coming in. Oh my goodness, <laughs> um, I saw something about an M a Bunzel 2000 Specinaid rides a Honda MSX. I thought it was a Honda Grommy. I thought it was a Grom. Fair enough. Uh, dun, 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 dun. The specy Ned says MSX is the name of my bike. Honda MSX125. Oh. Haha. Oh. Is that not a Honda Grom then, Mr. Ned? I don't know. That little thing, though, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, clearly not that little, but. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, one thing that just popped into my mind. Sorry to interrupt, Rich. Sure, yeah. I'll, I'll obviously, and I'm sure many other people will be. I'll be filming when we go down. Um, unless you come up to me and specifically say you want your number plate or your face blurred, I won't be blurred in it because. Yeah. Even so if you want it blurred, you're gonna have to come up to me and ask me. Otherwise, it'll be it'll just be on the video. It'll be in. Yeah. Same with me. I'm, I, unless you specifically say I'm not going to spend all my free time thereafter blowing number plates unless you've got a real issue with it in which case I'll probably try and pick a clip where you are not having necessarily got your, your, your number plate visible anyway so yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the approach I take really is just, just yeah, if you don't want to be in the videos then, then we'll try not to put you in yeah yeah um, but to be honest you know, if there are 20 people there and half of them are filming yeah. The chances are you're going to appear somewhere. I gave up with the Lincoln ride. I gave up even worrying about it. Yeah. Just 
dot dot wheelie down the uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the B twelve twenty two. Uh, <laughs> if you're in front of somebody with a camera on. <laughs> okay, a couple more things coming in. Uh, Bunzel 2000, it's called a Grom in the USA. Fair enough. That's what I'm Something new every day. Yeah. Um, we've got another one from Gazatron. Tell Specky he'll have to wait to go on the back of my bike. It's set up for single at the moment. He must have a death wish. Death wish. What bike's Gazatron got? Um, I will tell you now. Bear with me. Can you tell us on the motorbike community? Because it's going to be yes. 100 gram. No. Uh, oh, it's it's got a, no. It's got it's got a speed triple, gorgeous speed triple. He's got a, a beautiful speed triple. Ooh. I, d I definitely want to see that. Cause, um, got, if, if it's the one I'm thinking of, which I think it is, he's had quite a lot of work done to it, or he's done lots of work to it, and it's pretty awesome. Definitely want to see that, thanks. That's on my list for the next bike is a speed triple. Is one um, of it. But to be fair, it's still still not going to beat me going on the back of the booster. <laughs> <laughs> Walking step, space and time. <laughs> uh, next one, Huggy Brin. Huggy Brin 39. Uh, hope to see you all at the cafe. What time will you arrive? Um, if you mean Squires, probably about one o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, uh, sometime around then. Um, if you can make it to the main meetup in Wakefield, that'd be great. That's going to be around about half eleven, quarter to twelve time. Um, and then obviously there's the meetups. But if you're in that area, I can't remember where Brent's from. He's from the Yorkshire area, isn't he? Um, I don't know exactly, but he's certainly north of. Um, I think he's north of the cafe meet. Yeah. But uh, hopefully you'll get to go on a bit of the ride with us. Yeah, it'd be good to meet him again. Absolutely. Came yeah. to Lincoln, didn't he, Huggy? Yes. It is, uh, it is Gazapron, it's got the custom triple, and it's good. I'll post a link for it in the chat. It's yeah. um, a gorgeous bike. I'm really looking forward to seeing it. Right, well, we've run out of questions again, chaps. Um, what's this? So there's one more question coming. We'll have to make this one the last question. Yeah. And then we'll go off air. Uh, because um, <laughs> it's, it's possibly the most important question uh, from Lisa Khan. Yeah. Do you want a coffee? Yes, please. One sugar. <laughs> well, I've, got, I've got space next to me. <laughs> you're, you're pushing your luck now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not seeing the girlfriend tonight, so uh, I won't say anything if you don't. I think you might have given it away. <laughs> um, the other, you, know, guys, you want to see? Uh, you want to see the girl that's next to me? Though she's a right dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's just harsh. Look at that face. Yeah, bless her. Oh, just... um, the answer. The answer is yes, please. Can I have a frothy cappuccino, please? <laughs> um, the other three are wasting the time because you're too far away. And why do we need to have words once we're off air now? Okay. <laughs> and also, we don't have sugar in the house. Oh, uh, bugger. <laughs> uh, lots of people have answered that one. I'm not going to go through. Um, everybody everybody uh, wants a coffee. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, I'll just select this last one. Sperry222. I've just spent about 20 minutes finding out how to ask a question. Haha. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no answer to that one. And I think it's uh, time to wrap it up now. So uh, there'll be another hangout next week where we're going to yeah. talk about the fine details of where we're all meeting for the local meetups. Yeah. Uh, more Q and A, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I think it only leaves us to say goodbye. So Jim. Bye bye everybody. Lovely uh, to have met you on the video, and even better if we meet face to face. Keith. Yeah, looking forward to meeting some of you guys on the on the ride out, so it should be a good day. And Kev? Yeah, uh, thanks for coming along, everyone. I didn't think there'd be um, this many questions or this much interaction, to be honest. So Yeah, excellent. Great. Um, like we say, we'll post everything up on most of my community, so get your bums over there now. And, um, <laughs> Quite a bit. All of you know, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see you next week. 
Yep, uh, so just from me then. So, um, bye everyone. Thank you all for watching. Ride safe. And we'll talk to you all again next week. <laughs> bye. Bye. Bye all.